Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my favorite tree scents. So kind of a random idea for a video, but I keep over the last like couple of empties or the last few months, I keep saying, I just love this tree scent so much. It's one of my favorites. And I have said that multiple times. So then one time after I said it, it got me thinking I should just go through my stash what are my favorite tree scents? And I'm going to share with you guys my recommendations for the best tree in Vendor Wax. I did not pick any Scentsy, even though I love like painted leaves. I love golden garland, etc. I decided just to keep this to Vendor Wax. And I have, let me think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight scents here to share. There is another scent I, I think about that I would add to this, but I don't have it currently and that is pine cones and beach nights from lavender and speckles so i love that one as well that i'm not like fully mentioning so honorable mention there but kind of the criteria was that i wanted to have it in my collection to be able to show you smell it with you and just share with you guys if only you guys can smell these <laughs> through the screen i just i wish that we could invent some way that we all can smell each other's wax because it's just so good and it's so interesting that i love tree now because i used to really despise tree and now it's one of my favorite notes ever um i'm not over melting tree scents by any sense of the imagination i i love tree and every time i put in a tree scent it just makes me so happy so these are in no particular order or anything i'm not picking a number one i just kind of grouped them by vendor if i have some that have uh, some vendors that have multiple scents. So I think the only vendor, oh no, there's two vendors that I have um, multiples of, but the one I have the most of is from Teddy B's. There is three scents I wanna share with you today from Teddy B's. The first of them being the North. Now, Tiffany from Teddy B's has a ton of really great winter tree type blends. This one is one of my favorites. This is vanilla balsam type, Palo Santo, marshmallow fireside type, and a hint of smoldering firewood. So that vanilla balsam kind of being the tree note, obviously, in this. What I love about the North is that you get the vanilla balsam, which to me is creamy tree. Um, you definitely get kind of that vanilla note. It's not just tree, but you get the sharpness of the tree as well. But you get the vanilla balsam, but you also get the smokiness of this blend. So it just feels like you're in a winter cabin on a really cold winter's night, and this is what you're melting. You got like a fire going inside. It's nice and cozy. There's a bunch of snow on the ground. This is just that type of perfect, cozy winter's evening, outdoorsy scent. I love this. I will say this is one that when I first got it, all I could smell was the, the smoke scent. And after it has cured, now I really pick up the vanilla balsam and kind of that marshmallow fireside creaminess. So if you have this one, I really recommend curing it because um, I do think that it changes a lot on cure. So first one is the North. Next one is Pacific Northwest Winter. This is fresh snow, pine sap, fresh mistletoe, vanilla balsam, the slight hint of cranberries and burning fireplaces off in the distance. So I only have like half of this tub left and I keep wanting to go melt it. And then I was like, no, no, I wanna do this video first. I wanna make sure I save it. This is your fresh green tree. Oh gosh, this is, <laughs> this is something special you guys. I don't get a ton of the vanilla balsam. I don't get cranberries. It's really that pine sap, some of the vanilla balsam, like a little bit. It's just a very fresh tree. It's so good, like very green. Like you're walking through the woods on a crisp day and you're smelling like the pine sap and the real trees around you. That's what I get from this. This is amazing. I love this. If you, you definitely have to be a tree fan to like most of these, <laughs> but especially this one, because this is completely tree, but it just reminds you of a fresh 
wintertime green scent. Kind of like the name kind of fits it, Pacific Northwest Winter. So I guess when I think of the Pacific Northwest, I think of a lot of rain. And I could see this type of scent on like a rainy day, but there's a chill in the air and you're smelling the fresh trees around you. That's kind of what I get from this. It is unbelievable. I'm really hoping that I can get more of those soon. You, you're not going to see this till February, but I'm filming this in January. So I'm hoping a pre-order for Teddy Bees has happened in between there. And I'm really hoping that these two make a return. So I guess I will see. All right. And then the last one from Teddy Bees is a staple favorite. This is Christmas Trees and Cream. This is a tree scent that I feel like if you don't like tree, if you're trying to get into tree, this is a great one to start with. This is fresh pine, waffle cone, and rich buttercream because it really is a good mix of the pine with those vanilla notes. So with the waffle cone, with the buttercream, it is rich, creamy, decadent. I think it's one of her top selling scents and for good reason. It is so good. Um, on its own, she also has a lot of blends with it. I've had it blended with apple cider. I've had it blended with um, apple cider donuts, I think it was. Christmas trees and cream plus apple cider donuts or something like that. I've had it blended with crushed candy canes, which is an amazing blend on its own. Just so many beautiful blends plus um, it by itself. The strawberry trees and cream. I love this. I love the richness of the waffle cone and the buttercream that you get along with that fresh pine. So good. Again, if you don't like tree, but you want to like tree or you're testing the waters, I think that's a great one to try if you can get your hands on it. So that's everything from Teddy B's. I have, let's see, I've got Second and Spruce, The Melted Moose, Super Tarts, and Sassy Girl Aroma. So the one I picked for Sassy Girl Aroma is Oath. I have gone through so many of these, and I almost didn't put this one in this basket because this is definitely a Beach Nights blend, but the notes are with pine cone, and so I thought it fit for here, but if I did this video and did like my favorite beach night scents, which maybe I should, maybe I should make this a series, like go through my stash by scent note. Um, but if I had a beach nights one, <laughs> this would be my number one beach nights blend. So it kind of fits both purposes, but I love this one so much. And so I definitely wanted to share it. This is beach nights, roasted pine cone, smoked vanilla and cookie monster. So the pine cone in this is so good. It's definitely that really creamy roasted pine cone, and then you get the beach nights, so it's that salty Sierra, the s'mores, the kind of ocean type scents mixed with pine cone. I do get a little bit of the cookie, the cookie monster. Yeah, cookie monster. Just to kind of, I think it kind of just blends the notes together well. Adds a subtle hint of bakery to it. But this roasted pine cone, you guys, is so delicious. Yeah, one of my favorite tree scents ever. Also a favorite beach night scent, but I thought it still fit because of the roasted pine cone. I know a lot of people really love this one, so this one's probably no secret that it is an amazing tree scent. And one that really pulls all year. I would melt this in the summer because of the beach nights. Um, I also would melt this in the fall and winter because of like the pine cone the smoked vanilla so it really fits kind of all seasons for me it's a great one next this bag is looking crazy because I've got a bunch shoved in here but this is super tarts yippee kaye yippee kaye is iced sugar cookies and pine needles this scent you guys I have gone through probably six band bags I mean I love this scent I love this scent so much it truly is a 50-50 mix to me of the pine and the, what is it, sugar cookies? Yeah, ice sugar cookies and pine needles. Really is a good 50-50. If you like tree and bakery together, <laughs> this is a wonderful blend. I really love Super Tarts Wax. It throws really well in my home. It's long-lasting. I feel like 
the wax stays good for a long time as well. This is just amazing. <laughs> I use this a lot during the holiday season and in the winter time, but I have melted this throughout the year when I just want a tree scent. I've blended this with strawberry pound cake before. That's been amazing. Um, I'm sure I've done other blends in the past, but any other sort of kind of fruity scent goes great with Yuffie in my opinion. It's just so good. This one doesn't give me like that sharp tree note. Some of these blends kind of give me that sharp note to them. This one doesn't. It's a very creamy bakery tree. Amazing. This is another one that I feel like if you don't like tree and you're just trying to see how you feel about it, that this one is not a bad one to pick up because it is so heavy on the bakery and the tree note isn't as sharp that it kind of mellows out a little bit. Um, she, if she offers those in clamshells, I think it's worth picking up. And if not, I'll buy it from you. <laughs> if you're like, no, the same for me. I love it. I never want to be without it. I purchased a full band bag from Wax Wednesday. I almost think I should have gotten more because I just always want to have a stock of it because I just, I don't want to be without it. I love it that much. From the Melted Moose, this is Into the Woods. This is Ice Vanilla Woods, Roasted Pine Cone, and a Balsam. So I recently repurchased this. I had gotten a souffle of it. Absolutely loved it. And so I went back and got the loaf. So this is double bag. So let me pull that out. This is you have to like tree because I mean you definitely get the ice vanilla woods which I love and so I think that's a big part of why I love this blend so much is because I really love ice vanilla woods but the roasted pine cone and the balsam is definitely intense kind of your sharper tree notes like I think if you don't like tree this one probably isn't for you to try look how pretty that color is too I love it this is unbelievable, but I love Ice Vanilla Woods. Ice Vanilla Woods kind of pulls like a, a masculine, woodsy shaving cream type scent to me. That's kind of the vibe I get from Ice Vanilla Woods. So mixed with roasted pine cones and balsam, it just, it's perfection. This is a powerhouse too. It throws so well. It's just an amazing fall winter blend for me. Like I said, leans a little bit masculine because of the ice vanilla woods, but I really love it. Yeah, you definitely have to love ice vanilla woods and you have to like kind of sharp tree notes. Oh, I love this. One to pick up in a souffle if you're making an order from the Melted Moose and you're curious about, but I went back and got a loaf. This is definitely one that now that, you know, spring and summer is on its way. I probably won't melt this. To me, this is definitely of like a fall winter type blend, but I'll save this for next winter. Let it get getting cured and just enjoy every second of that. And lastly, I have two from Second and Spruce. So <laughs> I have been loving Second and Spruce, you guys. It's been no secret. And there are two blends that as I was thinking about what my favorite tree scents are, these two made the list, you know, and this isn't like a collection or anything. I've got a lot of other tree scents in my stash that I didn't pull. I just wanted to share really what my favorites were. Um, and I'll have to go through and see if there's other scent notes I have many things of, and I can either do like collections by scent notes, or I can go through and pick what my favorites are. I'll have to see. I'll see what I have, but um, this is definitely not all of the tree scents I have just my favorites and two of the ones from second and spruce that I picked for my favorites first one being roasty toasty so this one is roasted pine cone toasted mallow and cinnamon and sugar bakery spices this is like my earthy loving heart met my bakery loving heart and made the perfect blend because it's really a 50 50 mix of the roasted pine cones with the bakery spices. You get both of those notes. You get that cinnamon sugar bakery scent, but you also get that creamy, rich roasted pine cone note. 
it's just perfection. I love this one so much. It's an amazing performer. I also have the Roasty Toasty Plus Eggnog, which is also amazing. I actually was kind of going back and forth on which one I liked better, and I thought I would just pick out this one, but her Roasty Toasty Plus the Eggnog, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what the name is, but it's all these scent notes plus her Eggnog blend is another amazing one. It is so good and just a great performer. And then the last second in spruce, but also the last uh, melt for this video is Santa's Beach Party. So this one's really similar to Oath from Assess Girl Aroma. It's basically your pine and beach night scent. So this is Beach Nights Type Sugar Cookies, Mala Fireside, Hints of Pine Boughs, and Roasted Pine Cones. Okay, they're different though. Um, they don't have the same Beach Night blend. Look at these really cute little shapes. Oh my gosh. You guys, this one really is truly like a 50-50 mix. I get 50% of the beach night, the sugar cookies, the mala fireside, those creamy notes, and 50% the pine boughs, the pine cones. Pine boughs in my head is a little bit of a sharper tree scent with the roasted pine cones being kind of more of that creamy scent. This is unbelievable. Wow. It is so, so good. Again, one that if you don't like tree, this would be a great one for you to try if you can get your hands on it because it, it's not too overpowering tree. You know, those, the beach nights, the sugar cookies, the mala fireside, those notes really stand out to me in this blend. And so it, it doesn't scream tree to me, like Christmas tree or anything like that. It just screams this beautiful <laughs> beach night bakery blend with some pine cone to it and it is so lovely i love this one so much but that is it those are my favorite tree scents that i have in my collection currently so many great ones here i hope that if you like tree maybe you got a new recommendation of something to try or if you don't like tree and you're curious about it hopefully there's a couple here that maybe seem intriguing to you for you to keep your eye out for um yeah i hope this was fun i hope that you guys enjoyed it i'll have to go through my stash and see like dirt, Coca-Cola, beach nights, salty sea air, Apollo. I'm sure I've got plenty of, <laughs> of other notes that I can do this with. So I hope that this was fun. It's fun for you to watch as it was for me to film. But that's everything I have for this video. I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.